I'm a beer hound. Ow! The love affair with beer. Hi, I'm Paul with I'm a Beer Hound, and today we're here at Schmoe's Brewery in Grand Rapids, and I'm here with the beer engineer, Chaz Thompson. How you doing? Doing good, Paul. You ready to get some beers? Let's get some beer. Let's get some beers. I'm here with uh, Chaz Thompson, the beer engineer of Schmoe's, and uh, so what really kind of got you uh, interested in, in craft beer? How did you, how'd you get your start? Well, I was thirsty, and uh, people weren't making great beers back when I started doing the homebrew thing and started messing around with different beers and uh, learning the different styles. And, you know, I'm old enough to say that I was, I was around in those early days. Uh, not as a commercial guy, but as a consumer, and starting to appreciate a better beer than uh, what we were being forced to drink out of cans and things like that. And so, you know, I've always liked to cook, and beer is cooking, beer is chemistry, but it's a real fun side of it. Schmoes was born as a concept, and then the Robert Thomas facility here in Grand Rapids came available on the market, and walked in and saw the beautiful Century system and ample space and facilities for what we were dreaming of, you know, back those seven, eight years ago. And everything just started coming together really fast. What makes you have all these kind of creative names? Well, our number one rule is we drink about it. Um, very rarely do I name a beer uh, without a beer in my hand. We're not about boring beer, and so we try not to brew boring beer. Somebody that's never had a Schmoe's beer, how, what's the best way to describe kind of what you guys do and kind of what makes you stand out from every other brewery? We kind of stick more to the old world styles. We have a couple of uh, different things uh, that are a little bit unconventional, like our pickled tank ale, which is a strawberry wheat ale. When people come in here, some of the beers that they can expect to be on tap and, and what kind of styles they are. And... Six beers that are our mainstays, and I put those into a uh, mix six. And those are available all year. The mix, the Brewer's Six, as we call it, is a representation of Schmoes. Okay, uh, this is the John T. Pilsner. It's a Czech style Pilsner. It's uh, hopped with all Saz hops. They're imported hops. So it has a very dry uh, finish on it. Good bitter bite. This is a uh, Kiss My Scottish Arse. It is a wee heavy or a mid heavy. It's in one of the beers in what we call our couch series. It's best drank on your couch, because if you have them here, you better have a driver. Uh, anything up there in that eight, nine percent alcohol range. Here we have the Amber Teas, which is the California Common Ale. And uh, it's a great, clean, drinkable for people that like a little bit of the mal malty side. It's in the moderate alcohol range, 5.3. Bone Crusher Stout. Huge, robust flavors, chocolate, coffee. Uh, it's got a beautiful head. Pale Ale's a clean finish, American Pale. It's got just some beautiful, beautiful hop nose to it. Very low on the fruitiness and things, but high on the floral aroma. This one's just a go-to beer. When you gotta stay in moderation, it's a great concept right there. Produce a lot of good, clean beer. But if people come in to Schmoes, they can expect a, a real neighborhood feel. Um, we're out here in the suburbs of Grand Rapids. We're not downtown in the hustle and bustle. Uh, pretty much everybody drives here. I think that's what's, what's really cool. I mean, I like going to places where you can actually talk. Kickback place, not a high pace. You won't hear the loud thumping music. You won't hear the, you know, people screaming over each other to talk. If I hear somebody having to raise their voice to talk, I go turn the stereo down. Yeah. I'm not a music venue. I'm a beer place. 